Stanja Belisco here. I would like to just very briefly describe to you how a quartz crystal works, or rather create an analogy that will best illustrate how this happens. In the description of this video, you will find a link to a Wikipedia article with a lot of useful links in it. As for Wikipedia itself, of course, we don't necessarily uh, want to take that as Bible truth in electronic terms. But what you're looking at here, of course, are, well, it, it wouldn't be obvious if it didn't tell you. These are crystal oscillators, and that is the primary use of crystals in amateur radio. Even today you'll find crystals in your radio. They don't do what they used to do though. When I uh, was first licensed in 1966, a novice class licensee had to use crystal control to determine the frequency of their transmitter and it was very accurate and was fortunate that we had to do that because my receiver had no real calibration in it. It was an old shortwave radio. Of course it wasn't old then. It was the state of the art. The Halicrafters SX-130. But the, way, the best uh, analogy that I can use to describe how a crystal produces its electrical oscillations is to compare it to the sound that you get when you wet your finger around a partially full wine glass and then go around and around and around the rim. And if you do it just right, you'll get this resonant tone, this vibration that makes you wonder whether or not if you kept doing it enough, the glass would break. But anyway, that is the way how a crystal oscillator works. It, you subject it to a certain type of mechanical stress and in return that crystal will generate a voltage at a precise and constant frequency used to this day in such applications as quartz clocks. Uh, the, the clock you see uh, on your wall, chances are, is a quartz clock with a little battery that will run the thing for months and months. But back then, the crystal was the primary method of getting the signal, which could then be amplified and reamplified until it became a powerful radio signal that could be transmitted over the air. So a quartz crystal is a piece of quartz or uh, and there are various uh, compounds that will serve that purpose which resonates mechanically and that vibration just like the vibration that you get with the wine glass can be harnessed with the appropriate electrodes and you can get an electrical signal out of that but instead of 800 hertz or a thousand hertz as the wine glass will do it's maybe something more like 8 million hertz or 10 million hertz uh, and it's an electrical signal produced by that very same kind of mechanical vibration so really you're just listening to ultrasound or one might say super ultrasound what you can also do on this uh, particular video is take a look at a montage of Saturn and four of its moons, one of which I live right now in my home away from home and am making this video. I will not tell you which one because if the video is bad, I don't want you coming after me and I want to make it hard for you to find me. Stanja Belisco, W1GV, Whiskey One, Good Vibrations. Again, go to the Wikipedia article entitled Quartz, Crystal, or Piezoelectricity, and you will find this information 
and various links. Stan Jabalisco signing off from W1GV on one of the moons of Saturn, Portable 11. Until next time, so long.